Christina, I love that you continue to believe in me every day. Even when it's hard, you still do your best to be a better communicator to me. I look forward to the ups and the downs, finding out what God has for us. It's been over eight months since we've been married. It's been challenging and rewarding all at the same time. I'm standing here today in awe of everything that God has blessed me with this past year. Knowing what I've learned about you, I want to vow to you to continue to work with you, not against you, to listen to you and try my hardest not to interrupt you. To <laughs> <laughs> to consider you and not just the big things but in the little things I vow to try to talk to you and not to raise my voice at you I vow to keep God first and you second in my life I vow to respect and honor you I promise to scratch your back even when I don't feel like it <laughs> I vow to always keep your opinion high it's you and me. I remember intentionally praying for a good year with Pastor Dennis, uh, for that special somebody. Now that I'm older, um, I pride my family more because of the example they set. I was being selfish, and I, I didn't want to just give my family to anybody. I remember being so frustrated. Because my mom's pretty amazing. If you don't know my mom, ask anyone. She's Superwoman. She's my hero. And I remember I was angry because she set the bar too high. And I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to find anyone even close to the example that she set. And then I get this message on a dating app, 3.30. 3.30. 30 a.m. I was working a graveyard shift. I went to the restroom just to check what she wrote me. Um, to make a long story short, we hit it off and I flew to Florida to take her on a date. And it's funny because I knew she was the one when I asked her what she thought about premarital counseling. I knew she was the one because if I chose her, I knew we would be able to overcome any obstacle, big or small, because she put God first. It clicked. I found my superwoman for whom God has joined together, let no man separate. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Dean, you may kiss your bride. Let's go, baby.